Welcome. Today I am at the beautiful Punta Cana Resort and Club in the Dominican Republic and it is a treat to be here. Now, before we get started, if you don't know who I am, my name is Stephen Potaski. I'm the founder of the Luxus Group. We have a lot of uh, experience in this industry uh, within real estate, everything from buying, selling, developing, managing, renting vacation homes around the world. If you want to know more about me and our history, please go to the first episode. Uh, if you've already seen all that before, then let's just dive right into uh, this private club feature. So today at the Punta Cana Resort and Club, I'm going to take you on a bit of a tour and show you some of the various amenities of this particular uh, club and destination. What I'm trying to highlight is not just what you see here, but this is very indicative of these new age private clubs. So what is the difference you say between maybe a legacy club and a new age private club? The difference is, is the majority of these new clubs have been founded and built upon usually a single family, a single visionary that puts up the capital, takes the risk and builds out the club from its infancy all the way to a mature operating entity. And in most cases, uh, they would hand the club then to the members at that time for self-management. Now that journey could take 20, 30 years to build out a club from its infancy, from just raw land through ultimately handing over to members. But the very unique aspect of it is that visionaries control of the vision during the life of the club. Now this is different than legacy clubs, which generally as well are run by the members. So when you run by the members, you'll have a board of directors, you'll have committees, and you'll be making um, decisions via the community, not by a singular person. It's a big difference, and not saying they're better or worse because they all have their unique positive attributes. But the focus today really is on these version types of clubs where you have a singular person and family driving home the, the ship and driving home the vision. Now, they are absolutely bringing the feedback of the members as a whole because they want to have happy membership. But at the end of the day, if a decision needs to be made to do a renovation, to expand a facility, to shut down a facility, to add new members, to, to take out members, it comes down to that one person's decision. How that is positive and uh, what I believe is a significant benefit is sometimes management through committee can really slow down the progress of a club. And that's why a lot of legacy clubs have gone bankrupt or really struggled to kind of meet the times of today. So I would say legacy clubs, I'm generalizing here, wouldn't necessarily have um, overspent amenities. They usually have maybe amazing golf club and a restaurant and a locker room, but maybe not a spa and tennis facilities and pools facilities and all these additional things. So in these new age clubs, the investment they make on these really makes a huge, huge difference to see the overall uh, vision come to life. So today's tour, you're going to see a lot about it. You're going to see multiple different hubs of activities within this particular master plan community. And we'll definitely highlight more in the future as they go on. I'm a big fan of these types of new age clubs because I, I like the fact that as long as you trust the visionary behind it, um, that they're going to do what's right by the membership, you'll see a lot more progress quicker and generally a, a more significant investment in capital up front to amenitize these clubs and build world class facilities for the members to enjoy. So with that uh, being said, let's go on a little tour around this facility and I'll show you some of the cool amenities at Punta Cana Resort and Club. One of the really neat things Punta Cana Resort and Club did is took the old road that accessed the community when they built the new highway and converted it into a private golf cart path, running and biking path with tunnels under the highways. Really makes for an incredible overall experience to access all these miles of trails perfectly paved around the community. Something that's essential in a private golf and member community is, of course, golf. And not just any golf, you have to have a world-class golf course designed by a world-class golf architect and it needs to be manicured to perfection. That is the expectation with these new age courses. There's such a huge initial capital cost, which is again why a singular visionary that has the capital can put it all together in a kind of a build it and they will come type attitude. Punta Cana does not disappoint. There's 45 holes of golf here, including the Corrales Golf Course, which is um, where the PGA Tour Latin America event is held. Amazing holes, different styles, lots of holes on the ocean, and just a total treat to play, and one of the great privileges of being a member. 
We're here at the Oscar de la Renta Tennis Center. Uh, the late Oscar de la Renta was involved with the community here along with the Rainieri family. You can see with the Santa Claus hat, it is the festive season. It's a beautiful tennis facility with multiple clay courts. Great setup if you love tennis and the clay courts are definitely special if that's your, that's your style. Here's the main clubhouse, which is a multifaceted facility built strategically on one of their prime beaches and pieces of coastline. Check out that view. You'll see obviously clubs like anywhere, restaurants try to maximize the views of what they have. Gorgeous beach, pool deck down here, part of the amenity set. Just an overall stunning setting for the main members clubhouse. Give you the 360 degree perspective. Lots of places to sit and chill. The golf clubhouse is over there, a bar. That's a big tent. Apparently they're setting up for a wedding today. That's gonna to be a pretty spectacular wedding. And that's the main clubhouse. So hope you enjoyed the tour today of this particular amazing community. You know, golf clubs, there's beach clubs, which I'm at right now, the main beach club. There is um, restaurants, there's tennis, there's uh, kids facilities, all these amazing things. This is very indicative of what you would see of these new age style clubs, where you've built out the majority of the amenities up front because of that singular capital investor and that singular visionary out of the gate. So we're a big fan of this particular club, but there's others uh, obviously that are gonna be highlighted in the future. And if you want some information on this club, reach out to us, we can make a connection with the people here. Uh, again, I don't work for this club, I'm not sponsored by them. So don't think there's any bias here, just that we love it. It's a very special place. And within the Caribbean, it is certainly absolutely one of the best private clubs uh, that you'll see anywhere there through kind of the Latin American communities and uh, Latin America Caribbean destinations. So. Hope you enjoyed today. If you found this interesting, please share it with a friend. Obviously that means the world to me. And otherwise I gotta go catch a flight here. So ciao, we'll see you later.